In this video, I'm going to share with you three stocks that are under 20, which are great for swing trading. So catch them before they start to skyrocket. So let's get started now. The first stock is FLL, so Full House Resorts. So at the first glance, uh, one thing that catch my eyes, definitely this is a very strong uptrend. So a bit of the climatic run up, so forming a buying climax, especially these last three bars. And you can see that there is a spike of the volume as well. So suggesting there is an increase of the supply and demand as well. And in this case, the increasing of the supply actually stopping this uptrend and into the trading range itself. So you can see that here is the trading range. It has been consolidating for a couple of months. And let me just zoom in and focus on the recent price action. So at the first start, we have seen this reaction right from this fine climax. So this is sort of the change of character that defined the boundary of the trading range. And subsequently, we see that um, there is a further or second attempt uh, to break of the previous swing high level. And that actually draw up some sort of the supply. So we definitely see increasing of the supply. And subsequently, there is a reaction down and going back to test the support of the previous uh, swing low level. And subsequently, the third attempt is very interesting because take a look at this. This is the contraction of the volatility where we see that the price spread is getting very small. Um, however, there is uh, some kind of the churning action where we see that there is uh, increasing of the supply level or the volume. And nevertheless, uh, we definitely see another attempt to break out, but still uh, there is a failure. So let, if we just see or use this swing high level as the pivot point, there is not a time that the price can actually commit above this resistance level. So take a look at this. However, during this reaction right after the time of uh, breaking out, uh, it's slightly better. So in terms of the magnitude to the downside, and also in terms of the volatility, you can see that it's getting uh, smaller and smaller. So. Definitely, this is a great sign for the bullish case. And right now, we are just uh, still attempting to break out of the previous swing high level. And if you pay a closer look, this is the first time that we have seen the candle actually commit above the swing high level. So you can see that this candle plus the second last candle and also the very last candle. So this three candle actually commit above this resistance level. However, um, we definitely have another resistance ahead. So it's somewhere around 10 or 10.10. .10. So as long as we can just commit above the immediate resistance level, this sort of the breakout type of the uh, entry could be a very nice long entry. And also uh, the stop loss could be somewhere around 9 or maybe just below this big spread candle, maybe 8.9 or 8.8. .8. Alright, so we just need to see how it goes. Uh, I don't really um, just rule out the chance for another kind of a tight consolidation before it can just breaking out. Anyway, it's a bullish chart for FLL. So next stop, or maybe just before I go to the next stop, I'll just uh, quickly show you the immediate target price. So let's see. Okay, so that is uh, 16. So as you can see that I've just uh, draw this up and that's just uh, pretty much based on a very technical or traditional kind of the technical analysis based on a one-on-one -on -one projection uh, from this uptrend. Okay, so this is FLL. Next stop is CLF Cleveland Cleave. Okay, so CLF is in a very bullish structure and I think there is a huge causes view. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we can see that the causes uh, started in somewhere around 2017. So roughly around uh, three or two or four years. So you can see that there's a huge causes view. And this is definitely the sign of strength rally and the COVID sell off actually is kind of acted as a 
spring type of the setup so you can see this is a temporary commitment below followed by a recovery up and another test but the test comes in a trading range and subsequently we see that there is a serration to the upside and breaking out so definitely this is a sign of strength rally and followed by a pullback so let me just zoom in and focus on a recent price action so here's a sign of strength rally and this is the backing up action via a trading range so you can see that we do see a kind of a, a dip below the immediate support level in a down sloping range also comes with the spike of the supply but look at this it's just a temporary commitment below followed by another test so the test comes with a decreasing of the supply level so that's the test of the previous down swing and subsequently actually form a higher low and then currently breaking out and is forming another backup action so this is a fractal like a principle within a principle so we do get a uh, reaccumulation somewhere from uh, Fed, sorry, the January of this year, and until somewhere around March, end of March, it started breaking out. So this is another sign of strength rally, uh, backing up, pulling back, tested the previous resistance, resistance now to the support level. So I just think that uh, it is a very bullish chart, and right now it's just attempting to reverse from the reaction and if you can just spread above the intermediate level at about 19 uh, there's a high chance to test this previous swing high level and also breaking out as well okay so this is very bullish chart and the immediate resistance or the uh, target price is somewhere around 20, 25 so this is the target price so looking very bullish and because of the huge causes built since 2017, I think there is a further uh, upside for CLF. Okay, so next stop and the last stop is Century Casino Management. Okay, so CNTY. So CNTY uh, is actually just breaking out from the apex formation. So this is a apex formation or the symmetrical triangle. And let me just zoom out a little bit and to see if I can get more detail. So I definitely see a accumulation right there. So this is the COVID sell off followed by a quick recovery. And this is the re, re accumulation range. So supply has been decreasing throughout the range. Subsequently, we have a breaking out, uh, forming a backup action, and then a serration to the upside. So this is uh, another buying climax form. So you can see that uh, we do see an increasing of the supply level and also expansion of the price spread. Finally, here is the supply came in and with the spike of the volume and also the rejection tail and the bearish spread. So they actually form this change of character temporarily stopping this previous up move. And into this consolidation or the apex formation, so we do see that supply has been decreasing uh, while it's within this triangle and recently it's just a breakout and look at this so again supply has been increasing but look at the test and also the reaction so currently we have this two candle as a test and tested the immediate support level as I draw in this uh, green box so right now, I think there is a high chance for the price to continue to the upside once it's kind of settled down uh, from the volatility and eventually it can just go up. Otherwise, I think if you can just retrace a little bit back to this green box area somewhere around 12, then it could be a quite a nice long entry if it does show kind of a reversal signal from this uh, green box support area. So the immediate resistance or the target price that I'm looking at is somewhere around 16. So that's pretty much based on a, a conventional time of the technical analysis, some kind of like a one-to-one -one projection to the upside. So 16 is the first target for Century Casinos Management. 
If you'd like to learn more on how to increase your winning rate, definitely check out my video that showed on the screen right now. And do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also to get my weekly exclusive update for trading and investing ideas for free. So the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon.